dear student in this session we are discussing about uh, passing parameter techniques we have the three technique one is call by value method call by reference that is aliasing technique and the call by reference by pointer method we have the three techniques so we will discuss each one in this session as well uh, we, we know that the reference variable we understand what is reference variable as well what is a pointer variable just we'll go ahead with the uh, reference variable so we are discussing about uh, the concept of reference variable okay so as we know that uh, uh, the reference variable it gives the aliasing name for other variable it means that uh, like it is represented through the ampersand symbol let's define the when one variable let's say int a is equal to 10 it's an integer variable a i given as the constant as 10 now i define one reference variable like using that ambassador symbol let's be okay and i'll assign the variable a so now that whatever a value it holds that as a b okay now we'll print that value that is actual value the value of a is ok so that is what actually we getting as a ok so next similarly we can see that the value of reference variable reference variable ok is then that is the variable as b let's run this we'll check what is happening here so there is no error run the program the value of a is 10 the value of reference variable also 10 ok will align it properly the value of a is 10 and given as uh, in del ok and comes to the next line and this is also given as in del let me run this the value of a is 10 the value of reference variable is 10 ok now we will vary the any one of that variable let us say I am varying that a plus plus I am varying it so now what is that variable of reference variable now I am displaying that reference variable ok next I am increasing that b now what is the value of a now you got the concept here is any one of the variable if i changed if i change the a what is happening in b that is a reference variable ok is it the same variable or same value it is also increasing we will check and now i increase the reference variable b and then i am going to check with the actual variable a ok so let's run the program so you can see that the value of a is 10 before i assigned as 10 and uh, the reference variable is also 10 now i increasing that the reference that is actual value is 11 so reference variable is also increases 
similarly a is increases so then reference variable also increases the a is also is increases to 12 you can see that here see the first is a and b value it will be the same now i increase it a b is also increases so that b is your reference variable so then b is also increases now b is increasing 11s increase to 12 now i see that a variable a is also increase to 12 okay so we can understand that so reference variable it is aliasing name it is alternative name for the variable okay may it understand about the reference variable now we'll look at on the parameter passing technique we have the three method of uh, passing techniques we'll see one by one by one the first method is call by value method we'll see that so let me make a comment on this call by value method so here i'm using that you know swap the two number i'm using that so my function name is swap okay so here there should be i'm using the two values right so let me use that variable let's say this is a and one more is b so these are the two variables okay this is the one called function okay so first here i need to pass these two variable to this function a and b so for that what i going to do here is let me define some variable here let's x comma why i am defining that asking the user to enter the two values enter the two number okay so see in that is variable is x and variable y now we have the values in x and y so these values i going to pass to the function swap and passing the values as x comma y because it is already defined x and y so no need of defining that int x and int y we already define it here in the function so so that this is the calling function that should be end with the semicolon so when it is invoked the compiler goes to here where you defined it so it is uh, you know you passing the values of x and y and it is copied into the a and b so here this is what the formal variable declaration a and b it is defining here because it is formal variable in this function now using this a and b i need to swap i need to interchange this okay so that interchanging as we know that i defining one variable temp okay int temp i am assigning that the value of a here okay then that value of a assigned to b okay and then b assigned to temp so i just interchanging those two values after interchanging i need to display that values okay because this is swapped actually after swap the values are okay so one we have that a okay and then i can use that endl 
I need to print in the new line here. Okay, and then B. After swap, the values of A and B will be displayed. Okay, so here, uh, what actually, you know, the value of X is copied into A, the values of Y it is copied into B. Here, the technique is parameter passing technique is the values directly the X and Y it is copied into A and B. So that's what this technique we called as call by value method. So in this program, in this function, I'm not written any value here. Okay, so that the return type of this function is void, void swap this function. Now here after displaying A and B, it come back and it will be end with your program. So I need to display again the values before swapping. Okay, so before swapping the value here is the whatever the values are X and Y, I need to display it here. This is X and this is your y. So this is before swapping. Before swapping. Okay. Now you might be understand here what is the call by value technique. Let me save it and run the program. Let me compile it first. Okay. So now run the program. So enter two number. Let me 12 anything the 12 and 34 so first it is displaying that before swap the values are 12 and 34 whatever I entered after swap the values are that values are interchange 34 and 12 let me uh, display it properly okay so here entering the values it is should be displayed installation in the comes in the new line here this also new line okay now run that before swapping the values are 12 and 34 okay after swapping the values are 34 and 12 so here also I need to use that E and M. Okay, and here also I need to use as enter. Now we can see that properly how it will be run. So before swapping the values are 12 and 23, after swapping the values are 23 and 12. So this is called by value technique. Okay, now we'll go with call by reference technique. Okay, that is what we discussed about uh, uh, the reference variable. So let me change that as call by reference method. Reference method. So here same thing x and y I am passing to the reference variable of A. So A is your reference variable. We know how to uh, create, define the reference variable. I refined it. So it is same as, so whatever it is, ambassador A is equal to X and similarly ambassador B is equal to Y. So we can give the statement here like so what is this, you know, ambassador A is equal to your X, okay, and ambassador B equals your Y. So now the values are copying into your reference variable of A and B. Now same thing, A and B it is copying here. So now let's see that it will be, you know, after swapping, before swapping, what is the changes is happening? We'll see that. And as well, okay, the same the values here. I put it in this. Okay. Uh, let me run this. What is the changes is happening? Okay. See, I explain once again. I taken the two values and x and y. 
before swap the value here i printed as x and y now i call this val swap function x and y and it is copied into your reference variable a and b and then i swapped here and i displayed here itself after that it has to be come back from where from it is called then it is going to display the values of x and y okay so what i'll going to do here is first i'll make this statement as a comment later we'll see that what is happening okay let me run this so let me enter the two number so before swap the values as exactly whatever the values you are entered it is displayed after the swap it is you know it is 23 and 12 okay now i remove this comment line now you tell me that even if a and b has you know changed the values of reference variable that is a, because it is in reference variable in the sense it is a aliasing or other name for that variable of x and y even x and y are changes a and b also should be changed or a and b also changes x and y also be changes so once it is come back the values of a and b whenever it is changes it is also should be changed the values of x and y let me see that it is before or after will check out okay let me run the com program let me given the values so now before swap whatever i entered the values i am getting after the swap 23 12 i am getting see now before swap also the value what i am getting is the values of the same values what i reference variable it is having okay same values also it is having x and y it means that see it return indirectly the values of a and b into the main program so remember in a function we can return only one value at a time but by using call by reference method or pointer method we can return more than one value okay here whatever the value after swapped that is you know 23 and 12 it indirectly return back to your main program so this is in your main okay in the main after the swap what supposed to be we will get that output so that is what we are getting here so now we can see that in main the value indirectly it is written 23 and 12 so this is your call by reference technique okay next we'll go with uh, call by reference with pointer method so first of all we understand about what is a pointer pointer it is holds an address of another variable okay so it holds an address what i need to do here is okay so whatever the values of x and y what you are enter okay i pass the address through your calling function now i'll pass the address to the variable to the pointer variable now here the a is should be a pointer so now pointer it to indicated as star so now we can see that what is pointer variable holds that is pointer variable holds pointer a it holds the address of x similarly here pointer b holds the address of y so the definition what i said as pointer is it holds the address of the another variable so another variable is x means that well address it holds by the a so in that we know that a it holds an address star a it holds the value value at an address okay so now we need to change the values so not an address because a holds an address so we need not to want to change the address we want to change the value at an address so we need to use star a 
okay and similarly we can use a star b as well as star a the value we need to interchange with the variable of temp now after this i need to print the values of a that is star a and star b okay value at a i need to print it okay let me see that what is happening in this program okay so compile this program fine now run the program let me enter the number see now before in uh, passing the values i displayed here so after the swap it is swapped the two number by using pointer net technique and also in the main the after swapped whatever the value it return back that is 23 and 12 so here you can see that in the main whatever the values of x and y it is return back after swapped it return back okay so this is why your call by reference by pointer method remember in pointer it holds an address of another variable so that's what we need to pass an address to the pointer variable so then star a it is value at an address of a okay so a holds an address here that a holds an address okay you should remember of it so if we'll check with uh, if you're not mentioned a star a what is happening here let's say here only let i don't want to use a star what it is going to be print let me check with that okay it should have the address okay i need to check that that should print the address of that variable so now we can see that 12 and 13 after swap the values it holds an address in this address these values are there okay so in the main obviously that swap value it is printed through the variable of x and y but here i am not use that value at a and value at b that's what it prints the address as we know that in the literal constant 0 x okay so that indicates that it is an hexadecimal value okay in that address we have the data so if you are want to print the value at an address we need to use the star okay so this is also star that is a pointer variable a so so these are the three techniques are very important in a function